Hey friends, in this week's video, I'm going to answer a question that we hear a lot from new Hilla users. And that is how do you use Hilla in a microservice architecture or how do you call microservices from Hilla? To answer that question, we're going to take a look at a little example that I built. In this application, we have users and orders. And if I select a user, say Jane here, I can see their orders. Now, the way I've built this application is that I have two microservices, a user service and a order service. And then I have a Hill application that calls both of those services and aggregates them. And that Hill application then provides a typed endpoint for the front end to call. So it looks something like this. The browser calls the Hill app backend through TypeSafe RPC. And the Hill application, again, in its turn, will call both the user service and the order service. If you look at the code in more detail, all of these three services are Spring Boot applications using a Spring uh, REST controllers and Spring data. So a pretty standard setup. The user service here has a get mapping for getting all users or finding a specific user. Likewise, the order controller has a way for us to just get all the orders or get the orders of a specific user. Now, in the Hilla application, we have this endpoint. An endpoint is a way for us to expose the service as a type safe RPC to the client. So here, I first of all have records, one for the user, one for the order. And then I have this detail, user detail, which includes both a user and their orders. I have two methods here, private methods that I use to get the users and the orders. Both set up a web client and call those respective services and produce a list of users and orders. And then the API that exposed to the client get user details will get all the users, stream over them and map them to a new user details object that includes the user and their orders. So essentially we're calling both the users microservice and the orders microservice, aggregate the data from them and produce a single DTO. Then in our React front end, what we do is we have a state for our user details and the current set of orders that we want to have displayed here in the browser. And I'm using an effect here with an empty dependencies array, meaning that I'm going to call this whenever the app starts up. And I'm calling the RPC here. So calling user detail service dot get user details. And then when that resolves, we're going to set the user details. And we've bound those user details to von combo box here. And the on uh, selected item changed event is mapped to this selected user change. So whenever the selected user changes, we check, first of all, if we have a selected user, if we do, we get their orders and set them to this orders state. And that is bound to the grid, which will then display them. So we can see Alice has no orders, whereas John and Jane have a couple of orders. Now that's a really quick review of how to use Hilla in a microservice architecture to aggregate different microservices on the backend. If you have any other questions about using Hilla with microservices or any other Hilla related questions, ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.